Okay, so <clears throat> we started out using the section box and creating a section. Um, and what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to sort of do a series of sections here. So I'm just going to delete these guys. <clears throat> and I'm going to come in and delete the sections that go along with them. And I'm going to go to my plan A1. <clears throat> and I'm going to create a series of, of sections. Maybe we can do cross sections this way this time. Um, and set them up as section boxes. So the first thing to do is create your sections. So I'm going to create a section right through the middle here using this reference point, this reference plane. And so there's my... <clears throat> middle section, right? And this one's going to come in named section 5, so I'm just going to rename it here. And I'll just rename it section 2. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that section and I'm going to scope it to this, I'm going to associate it with this scope box. So I'm just going to come over to my properties dialog box and I'm going to scope box that to scope box A. So now it's scoped to that scope box. Now I'm going to unscope it. I just wanted to first initially I'm going to come back and instead of scope box A I'm going to set it to none. And now I'm going to set the offset for this. Now that I've unscoped it I can set the far clip offset and I'm going to set that far clip offset to 15 feet. So now you can see that that is clipping at 15 feet. Now I can pick this and I can copy it over 15 feet. Right? So now I've got another section that's copied over 15 feet with a section box setting of 15 feet, which is just barely clipping through the end of this model, I think. Let's take a look. Let's do thin line and <clears throat> If I pick that section, we may have to pull it back a little bit. We'll see. I just want it to clip through the very end. And then I'm going to pick this guy and I'm going to copy it. Whoops, sorry, not that one, but this one. And I'm going to copy it back 15 feet. Right? So it's going to start sectioning here and look to there. This one's going to start sectioning here and look to there. And this one's going to start sectioning there and look to there right? So this one I want to be named section 1 which is actually section, is that correct? What section is that? That's section 3. What's this one? That's section 1 so they're kind of reversed. So <clears throat> I guess we could just go 1, 2, 3 would be fine. Alright so now I've got my sections and now what I want to do is I want to associate them with a section box. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my default 3D view and I'm going to turn off the section box in here, right? And <clears throat> I'm going to duplicate it. So let's go ahead and delete these guys. And I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to rename it S1. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that one. And I'm going to name it S2. And I'm going to duplicate that one. And I'm going to rename it S3. Alright, so now I have three 3D views that are exactly the same. Now I'm going to take S3, while that's current, I'm going to go to the pull down and I'm going to go orient to view section 3. Close that, double click on the top left. Then I'm going to go to S2. Orient to view section 2. Double click. Whoops, I think it was this one that I was double clicking on, right? And then if I go to S1, 
do the same thing. Right, so now I've got those views set up. Now they're kind of dark, right, on the left hand side. So let's see if we can select all of those, go to, let's go to the sun settings, and we'll just pick from top right and apply. Right, so we're getting a little bit more. Let's see if it did it to all of them. I think we have to do that individually. Won't do it in mass. <clears throat> yeah, so top right. And is it S1 that I did it to? Let's do this one. Sun settings. So you may have to adjust a little bit. But now I've got those guys. I'm going to select them all three again, and I'm going to reset their view scale to 1 32nd of an inch. So I want them to be smaller and the same size as everything that's on the sheet. So if I go to my composition now, I should be able to come in and pull in my 3D views. Right, one, two, and three, right? And they will actually want to line up the way that you have them set. Right, so if I were to go back to my plan A1, 3 is on the left hand side, so I have them a little bit in reverse, right? So if this is 3, which that's S3, it actually should be over here, right? And this guy, so you just have to sort of get them in order, should be over there. And then I'm just going to control select those and change them to viewport no title right and so now those guys are in order right now the other thing I can do is I can set maybe a let's apply a view template and how about mass transparent let's see what happens and that gives a little bit of transparency to them and then you can go in and you can arrange them you know in a different sort of format where you know, they're kind of I did these in the opposite direction than actually the sheet wants them to be. The sheet composition is going to get a little hinky with this one, but you can arrange them, you know, however you deem appropriate. And now you have a series of section cuts, right? Okay, so that's it.